Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to today's top tweaks video. Now, these are some of the brand new Cydia and Cilio tweaks that are out there on the market. So, before we start, definitely like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest Apple and jailbreaking news. Also, check out our Best Tech Info website for the entire tweak and source list. You will find everything you need there. And while you're at it, definitely bookmark our iOS 12.2 to 12.4 jailbreak status checker pages so you guys can be notified when the jailbreak utility is updated for those newer firmwares. Now, very lastly, before we start, I just wanted to notify everyone once again that we're still doing our promotion with Surfshark. It's an absolutely incredible VPN service, and you can even get an entire month free on us with the promo code ICU. Well, we're going to take a look at this a little bit later in this video. For now, let's get into the top tweaks. So to start off, we're gonna head to the lock screen. And if you guys just tap, we have this absolutely incredible tweak called Lisa. Now it's an OLED dark mode tweak that looks absolutely fantastic on the lock screen. Basically, if you tap once, you get this. If you tap twice, you get the rest of the lock screen just like that. And there's quite a few options you can configure as to what you want to hide on that initial splash screen. But let me show you guys a few things. If you guys are listening to music, it looks absolutely incredible. You get this super minimalistic look with a couple other tweaks going on. We'll get to those in just a second. But once again, if you double tap, then you get the rest of your lock screen controls. If you guys receive notifications, it looks absolutely incredible with a short look, but it looks super simplistic once everything goes away and you're just left with the lock screen and your notifications. And I don't know if you guys saw, but Notification just was recently updated too. So all of these tweaks look absolutely fantastic together. Again, we have Notifica right here for these new notifications. But again, just double tap and you have the rest of your lock screen right there. Anyway, I just love that it's kind of like an always on display where you can just quickly check the time, see your notifications. You can immediately swipe up to go to your home screen. And again, with Face ID, that's a little bit more streamlined than with the passcode. Anyway, let's head back to this screen on the lock screen because I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of questions about this. Now, there's a couple new tweaks that were just released. One is called Knee Read, which is this lock screen music controller right here. Super simplistic and it also blurs the background of the album artwork. Also, we have the music visualizer on the lock screen now instead of within the music controls platter on the lock screen. It looks super awesome now that it's on the home screen, the lock screen, the control center. And again, you can actually have two on the lock screen if you want it. But that's all done with Mashuda Infinity lock screen, home screen, and just the original one as well. So all of those tweaks have now been updated for A12 support. Let's get on to the next tweak. So one of my absolute favorites was just recently updated for A12 support as well, Pullover Pro, where you can pull over different applications. And the really cool thing about this is if you swipe over and you can move this anywhere you want, left or right, but if you hold this down, you can actually access all of your recently used applications. So if I wanna to go to the settings app, now it's pinned right there. You can access pretty much any application that you just recently used. If I pull up the messages app real fast and then go into my side view, messages is now at the very top. So it's an awesome multitasking tweak to access all of your recently used applications. And again, you guys can create a custom list right here as well. I just have mine set up that way. I thought it was a really neat way to use pullover. Anyway, let's head into Celio. So there's one tweak that is absolutely fantastic that I wanted to show you guys in this video. So if we go to packages, now as you guys can see, we have this export option right here up in the top left, and this is done with Aviho. So you can export packages lists, as well as if you go to sources, you can export your entire source list. So if you just tap this, it's going to copy it to your clipboard, where then you can email it or message it to yourself. Anyway, pretty much the same thing as what Flame did for Cydia, but now we have it directly within Celio. So this new tweak called Real Low Power Mode or Real LPM basically does what it says. It's an ultra low power mode in a gist. So if we tap on it, it's actually going to respring your device 
And when your device comes back up, as you guys can see, most apparently your background is now black on both the home screen and the lock screen. So that is one way it saves battery. Also, animations have pretty much been disabled entirely. So that's a way to save battery, less strain on your system. Anyway, that one's called Real LPM. And to get out of it, again, just click it one more time and it's going to respring your device and put it back to its normal state. So taking a quick break to take a look at Surfshark one more time. Again, if you guys are in the market for a VPN, you're in luck because this is the absolute best one that I've found. It's super affordable, it's super modern with a lot of features that you would actually use on a day-to-day -day basis. And probably my favorite part is for one cost or one subscription, you can install it on an unlimited amount of devices. And device support is just incredible. Not only are iOS devices supported like iPhones, iPads, iPods, it supports both Mac and Windows, also Android OS, but even like Apple TVs, Fire Sticks, and Xbox gaming systems. Now, the best thing with our promotion is if you guys use our code ICU, you will get 83% off of their service. I think it comes out to just under $2 per month for an unlimited VPN service with super fast speeds. And not only is it discounted a lot, but you actually get an entire month free on us. So that is the promotion that we have going on. Definitely check it out if you guys are interested in a VPN service. It's one of the newest and most modern VPN services with all of the features that you need. You can access multiple content libraries like Netflix and Hulu in different countries. And you can even connect this to, like I said, an unlimited amount of devices for one low cost. So definitely check out the first link down below in this video's description if you wanna learn more about this service. Anyway, that's Surfshark in a nutshell. Let's get back into today's top tweaks video. So this one's a pretty simple one, but cam controls adds an extra layer of controls right here on the bottom on the iPhone 10s, 10s Max, 10R, and of course the iPhone 10. Typically these controls are hidden with a gesture to activate them, but now honestly it just uses that space in a really nice way and they're all right here easily to toggle. This was a really interesting one based off of a trending Reddit post. Now when you swipe up to enter your passcode, all of the numbers switch places every single time you unlock. So as you guys can see, they're in a really weird order right now, but that basically is to ensure that no one memorizes your passcode based on where your fingers are being pressed. Now zero is up in the top right. Again, this is pretty easy to tell with a straight zero passcode, but you guys get the gist. Every single time you unlock your device, the numbers change their location. This one's kind of a throwback, but Cone Band has been updated for A12 support and I've yet to cover it on the channel. So instead of your notifications or your widgets, excuse me, to the far left, now you can actually pin an application like Spotify. So that's really nice to access music right there to the left instead of those annoying notifications that really don't add any value to your iOS device. And speaking of pinning applications, this tweak called Mission Control actually lets you pin other applications directly within your control center. Also, while we're here on the control center, like I said in my previous top tweaks video, this one was just recently updated to the tweak called Magma, so you guys can colorize the notification center, add custom colors for all of these different toggles. Well, by the same developer, another tweak that was just recently updated as well is called Shy Labels. So the icon labels actually only appear on your device when you guys are scrolling and then they fade away. So something just like that, I think it makes your device look really nice, neat, and simplistic. So another interesting one that I really like is called Color Home Bar. So it colorizes the home bar based on the application that you're in. The Messages app is green. If I go into Safari right here, it is then blue. If I go into Reddit, the home bar is then red. And very lastly, the very last week I wanted to talk about in this video, number 15 is a pretty good one. This one is called App Crumb. So basically anytime you have a breadcrumb, if you leave one application and go to another one, say if you're in the Messages app, and if you're gonna go to a Safari, you typically have a back button here up at the top. 
Well, instead of that little tiny text, now you actually have a minimized version of the application that you just left. So as an example here, I'm in the messages app. I'm going to click on this link to Safari, just going to Mac rumors. But as you guys can see, I have this little version of the messages app and you can actually scale it up or down. This would be really useful. I feel like to copy numbers or things like that. And if you just tap on this, then it will enter the messages app once again. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video and making it to the end. Definitely before you head out, like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest Apple and jailbreaking news. Again, if you guys missed a tweak from today's video, it's located on our Best Tech Info website, and all of the sources are found there as well. Again, while you're there, definitely bookmark our iOS 12.2 to 12.4 jailbreak status checker pages. And very lastly, I would highly advise everyone once again to check out Surfshark if you guys have the time. It's an awesome VPN service with a bunch of premium features for a very low cost. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video once again. Thank you everyone at Surfshark for this awesome application. Definitely stay tuned as we have some awesome content coming this weekend to prep for WWDC 2019 early next Monday morning. Anyway, guys, we're going to be doing full coverage on that event as well, so stay tuned. That is where iOS 13 Beta 1 is going to be released by Apple, so exciting things are in the works to come early next week. Anyway, stay tuned, but until next time, this is Tony signing out.